Heidi ho neighbors, Rito Goji here, and welcome back to Squeeze the World Presents Lego Marvel Avengers Extra DLC videos. And uh, when we came, when we last left off, we we're about to save this guy. So we're saving this guy now. Saved him from, from, from a crane that was there. And uh, we have three more mini kits left as we go on to the last phase of the Doctor Strange um, story mission in. Well, not story, but well, yes, yeah, story mission in uh, free play mode. Basically, just yeah, at this point, we gotta. I think everything in the dark dimension is obtained. All the remaining, um, as far as I know, all of the remaining uh, mini kits are in the Sanctum Santorum. Yep, that, that's actually where those those arrows are pointing over, are over there, uh, because as far as the uh, the map for the dark dimension and the map for the Sanctum Santorum. I've explained this before, but yeah, they're they're uh, that's how they're basically aligned on the in-game map. Now, before we let the mindless ones out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mess with this hourglass up here, so I don't no, I don't forget to do so later. I think this is just something I can destroy with Hawkeye. Yes, or Stan. Stan can do it too because Stan can do almost everything. But right, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen there. I think everything else is... Well, this is still pointing to this. Let's fix it. Let's fix them all. May as well. Way too many arrows pointing, especially considering that the... Uh, the arrows for the uh, the picture... The, the photos... The, 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 the tilted photos don't even need to be there. Because we have... Uh, that mini kit, but um, there we go. But the game doesn't want us to not do anything. It just wants to display the objectives like that sometimes. So that's what we're gonna have to deal with here. Boy, I sure hope I'm up to this challenge, Excelsior. All right. So let's get on with getting the mindless ones out. May as well. Because everything else, I believe, is in the bedroom. Or in the attic. Bedroom slash attic, it's both. And I know one of those arrows is the last picture, so that does leave two left. Which does, um... Which does coincide with the number of mini kits we need, so... Uh, we're doing pretty well here. All, all in all, except for that one in the Ant-Man level, like, these these mini-kits and whatnot have not been hard to find, and I'm actually pretty grateful for that. Um, not spending, like, three videos trying to figure out what to do, which is nice. Um, yeah, there, was, there was just that one Ant-Man one I had to look up. Didn't know where it was. It was at the very beginning. It was just a very... It, it, it was just a very hard thing to see. But then again, a lot of the times I've run into, into uh, trouble with the, um, with stuff like that, it's usually been stuff that was just really, really hidden. Where's a laser person? Here we go. We need to build this vent again, and we can actually do something in the vent now. Excuse me. Excuse me. I actually didn't need to destroy the vent. I just need to or destroy the box. I just need to build the vent now. So let's head on in. All right, we need a fixy person. Who do we have that can fix things? Stan can fix things. Why not? Stan can Stan can fix things. He has all of Iron Man's powers. Why not that one as well? So let's just jump up here and collect our spoils. Alright, and see where to get... Oh. He can use magic, but he can't go through vents. That's okay. Let's see where's the other... Let's fix this. May as well. Alright, and then we have one that shows up here. Not quite sure how to do that. 
let's just destroy things and see what happens. Fix torches. Just to... Just to get all of our, um... Just to exhaust all of our options. No. That toy chest is actually going to be important, so that's not going to be destructible. Destroy this. Books. This books. This chest. No. Fix the torch. Nope. Well, I think I fixed the torches before, but still. It's good to, again, exhaust all your options. They're, they're trying to get in through the vent! That's actually kind of funny. Alright, destroy these. Snake out of the jar. Chair, no. Destroy these. Dr. Strange portraits. Now, they really didn't do anything before, but again, just making sure that we can do everything that we possibly can before uh, resorting to looking something up. There's got to be something in here, though. Uh, destroy the bed. Oh, the bed's going to be involved somehow. Maybe jump on the bed. Ah, jumping on the bed was the answer. Okay, then. All right, let's take care of Mordo. Quickly. While, while they're trying to get into the vent. While they're distracted trying to get into the vent. That's, that's hilarious. All right, so time for bunny, bunny battle again. Same thing as ducky battle. Ducky, ducky battle, but with a bunny. And then we've got quick time event. Quick animation of him imploding, I guess. And scene. Master of the Mystic Arts. That's our trophy. And uh, that means we only have. I actually really, I actually really like this one. And not just because I like Doctor Strange. That was just a, a nice. Uh, Diverse level with all sorts, of, and it also reminded me of the one, in a way, it reminded me of the one from uh, from the first Marvel game. So that was cool. Um, we are on our hey, on the ultimate the DLC man. now, and by ultimate I just mean the I last one. That's really what ultimate means. The man as the king of cameos. But uh, the last DLC we're going to be tackling is Agents of Shield, uh, which is something that I am quite familiar with, um, especially considering that. Uh, Oh, that's the, um... I have that comic. That's the... That was the number one. That I, uh... That I read. That I told you I was reading. That's the number one issue. I have that. That's cool. That's awesome. But yeah, like I said, um... We... According to, like, the character roster, this is pretty much just, like, all... Season one and two... Yeah, and, and I know, I, I also marked it in the video, the description of the video, when I did the character showcase, and I said, who's this guy? And then I complained that Kyle McLaughlin's character wasn't there. This is Kyle McLaughlin's character. I can't believe. It, it just it just clicked. Like, it just, it just clicked later that night. I'm just like, oh, I've made a huge mistake. But yes, that is, that is Kyle McLaughlin's character. And I am an idiot for not... Um, for, for not recognizing that. But yeah, all of the stuff here is uh, season one and two. So I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be quite familiar with the events going on there. Uh, now the first of the um, random, uh, the first of the random trophies that we have is, where did they, I was just hovering over all of these characters. Um, one character fits. And the other character, Simmons. I'm engineering. She's biotech is the name of it. It got cut off, but I I I, I looked it up before. But that was uh, it's it's fun. Um, 
because they're they're both they're called Fitz and Simmons, but like they're they're referred to collectively as Fitzsimmons because Fitzsimmons is also a a, a, a real last name. Now the other trophy we are going to have to go back to the Hell Carrier, but we're not going to have to do any stupid races or anything, so that's really nice. Um, we gotta find our way to the freaking vehicle pad again. Let's just get these, get these studs for, for posterity here. But I'm sure, I'm sure Tony has seen a lot worse than his fan fiction, or the fan fiction that he's in. I'm sure he's seen a lot, lot worse. In more ways than one. Um... All right, so vehicle pad. I'm gonna switch over to May. Where's May? That's going into them. That's Doctor Strange still. James Johnson. Okay, Melinda May. There she is. I actually skipped over for some reason. She's got ice guns. It's like, um. And we're going to summon the bus. The bus is like their, uh... It's like their their command center plane that they had in Season 1. I think they, they do have a new bus now. Um... Which also has, like, a, a Quinjet attached to it, but... Oh, that is fairly, fairly large. So, let's get in. You just need you to drive the bus is the name of the trophy. We just got that. So we only just had to sit in it. We didn't actually have to fly it. All right, so let's go to space and head for our last story mission of the game. Um, I mean, technically we did the last story mission of the game back when, but the new last story mission of the game, now that we have all the DLC, uh, where is Coulson's head? It's around here somewhere. Actually, no, is there somewhere in Asia? There he is. Yeah, oh, we're, we're in China, so it's probably going to have something to do with the Inhumans. Please tell me corrupt Clark Gregg. This is Agent the... Melinda May with oh. a special shield report. The following information is highly classified and should only be accessed by agents. That is definitely not Ming Na. Season 2 events. You have been spoiler warned. It has become apparent that our new recruit Sky has some secrets. Ones revealed during a mission to a buried alien city. We What's have no the way music of the knowing nice. that the transforming alien technology we found would cause Shield itself to fracture. Sky's <laughs> gifts came from her father, a villainous doctor with a ruthless bedside manner, and her mother, an energy vampire bent on starting a war with Shield. What she didn't anticipate was that someone had called in the cavalry. Me. So, I guess thing player one's gonna be May. Oh damn, we're almost out of time. Uh, who's player two? Just just out of curiosity. Things weren't going well. Simmons for some reason. We okay. And many of our best He's not really a field agent, but okay. I was actually kind of the hoping that the uh, narration would have been done by uh, by Clark Gregg, but no, it's not. And extract the remaining agents. I can tell this is not Ming Na Wen actually doing the narration here, but uh, this sound alike is fairly similar. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, and when we come back, Marvel's Agents of Shield. I'll be, I've been Radio Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?